day, Miss Day. Happy Thursday. Good morning, boys and girls. Please stand to honor our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Boys and girls, you may be seated. Let's get to our birthday list for today. Let's see. Happy birthday today to Aliana Lam in our kindergarten and Alyssa Yilmaz in our fourth grade. All right, now we have a special guest with us today. Yeah, we have Brooke here with us from class 216. We also have Miss Black. Let's see, if, there's Miss Black. So, Brooke, come on over. Brooke came in and we brought in Miss Black to certify that this Rubik's Cube that Brooke is holding was perfect when she got here and you mm. messed it up, correct? I certify that I messed up Brooke's Rubik's Cube. And she did not know how you messed it up, is she that correct? She did not know how okay. I messed it up. She did not see me do right. it at all. So boys and girls are going to get a drum roll here. Okay, ready, set, go, Brooke. Check this out, boys and girls. So Brooke has learned how to solve the Rubik's Cube. Check this out. One at a time, she will move the Rubik's Cube to the left, to the right, up and down, and she will make it perfect again. And by the way, she can do this with any Rubik's Cube. Why? Because she has used her mighty mind to learn how to use logic and apply it to the Rubik's Cube. Now, what you can't see is how quickly her hands are moving. So the fingers are moving left, they're moving right, they're up and down. And even though she's messing up some colors to solve other colors, in the end, all of the colors will be solved. She's making great progress now. You'll notice there are far less uh, white ones all over the place. Looks like green is coming together right now. Oh, there's yellow all coming together. Getting close. Hmm. I am so impressed. And she also has been coming down to my office every day to remind me because I, I keep having lots of other things to be doing at this time. Uh-oh, almost there. Yep. She's got the whole um, bottom half, well, bottom two-thirds solved at this point. It's now only the top third that needs to be solved. And that's using logic. You have to solve it not one color at a time, but one third at a time. So she solved the bottom two thirds. Now she's working on the top and she just finished. Oh my goodness. Check it out. All done. Woo hoo. Nice job, Rick, how did you learn how to do that? Um, so one day, like I found a Rubik's cube in my room. So I wanted to try to solve it. So I went on YouTube and I found a video to help me. Yeah, so she wanted to learn. She found a, a Rubik's Cube that looked like this in her room. And she said, I want to learn how to solve this. Now, this one has one color. Normally, when we look at the Rubik's Cube, we think we have to solve one color at a time. But is that true? Well, not really, because no. you, like, solve half of it, and then you try to do, like, the other third. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, when we talk about thirds, we're talking about this is one third, one then we have the second third, and then we have the top. What she did is she solved the first third, the second third, and then the third third. That's correct. And so how long did it take for you to learn how to do this? Um, probably about a week or two. A week or two, and you kept working at it, right? Yeah. And working at it, that's called grit. We learned about that. It's one of our McVeigh words when we keep working and working and working and trying to master something, and now you have. So proud of you for working at that. Well done. You go, Brooke. 
And thank you, Miss Black, for participating in our. Of course. Yeah. I'm so I'm so I'm like in awe right now Isn't as that I'm here. Awesome? I, I'm speechless. Yeah. Speechless. Super cool. Thank you, Brooke. All right. Okay, so maybe you'll figure out how to solve the Rubik's cube also. All right, now on to our wordle. So here we go. We know that this letter is the most common or the most used letter or not in our alphabet. And here we have a digraph. Okay. Okay, these two letters are a suffix. That's a suffix. And the suffix is A-L. Hmm. Let's see. Now, for our mystery number, all right, so we know that we're looking for the tens place. So we have six hundreds, blanks, tens, and six ones. If I take away the hundreds, though, and think about this number, this number would become an important year in the history of our country. Yeah, this number would become important in the history of our country. Hmm. It's only part of the number, but with the tens and the ones. Okay, now it's time for our mighty kind moment of the day. Let's get our drum roll. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so our uh, mighty kind moment of the day today is a shout out to uh, a super special student. You know who you are who did something, again, super duper mighty kind, had something that she really wanted and knew somebody else that wanted it even more or needed it and gave it away. Super mighty kind. That's also having empathy. When you have something that you like or want, but somebody else needs it, you say, hmm, how does that person feel? Hmm. They really need it. I don't really need it. I just want it. And then you let them have it or let them use it, whatever it may be. You've shown empathy and kindness. And that's what we do here. Why? Because we're mighty minds. Not only that, mighty kind, mighty minds. And everyday boys and girls, it's a great day to get smart and be kind to both each other and the earth. Let's have a wonderful day.